Water taffy for Mr. Rowe. Jackson is on timetables, some flashcards for the Prescotts, and Gina Everett loves lavender. It's uh, one floor up, first on the left. Perfect. Thanks, Patrick. Good morning, neighbor. Good morning. possibly get so much done by 8 a.m. You must have elves. I was excited to get started early. Look, I found these animal-shaped gluten-free pasta. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Can I start packaging it all up? Um, no. Some people didn't order gluten-free, and then there's the different sauces, and Hector Rollins requested a double order for his date tonight. Mm. Lions and tigers and bears don't exactly say romance. I mean, I can barely remember to brush my hair in the morning. How can you possibly know an entire meal service's client roster by heart? Oh, I have a system. So you mentioned. <laughs> I'll go set up the cafe. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The loving spoonful. We put the adore in pasta cadore. Oh. <laughs> I think they finally rented the apartment upstairs. I saw the new guy moving in today. Should bring him a flyer. He could be a new client. We're already here a million hours a week. And I can't work more with my university classes. One more client might cause a nervous collapse for both of us. I'm not that bad. When was the last time you went on a vacation? Or went on a date? Or a coffee break? Have you thought more about what we talked about? About expanding just beyond just us? I like it just us. What are my Ridgeway foods? I'm not here to take over the world. Hey, babe, can you bring some yellow tablecloths from the back? I think it's time for a change for summer. OK. But if you don't get more sleep and work less, then you're going to be seeing those lions and tigers and bears in more places than your food. Let's see, bears. Oh, no, 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 I was supposed to have more time. 
time. By here. Brown, black button eyes, so big. Um, yeah. Uh, you too? <laughs> That's Jolene. Hey, Jolene, you want to come out here and say hello to our new neighbor? <laughs> you too, Ivy. Hi, Ivy. I'm Leah. This is my meal service business, The Loving Spoonful. We put the care in carrot cake. <laughs> Anyways, it's nice to meet you. I really like your bear. Jolene's a pretty name. Did you name her yourself? Nice to meet you, Jody. And your dad? Uncle Eli. I mean, just Eli. That's what most people call me. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Just Eli. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll see you around. Sounds good. Hey. I was supposed to be eligible for a fourth extension for my taxes? No, no, no. I want to pay my taxes. It's just that at the moment, I, I, I can't. What do you mean seize my assets? What, you mean my pots and my pans and my stove? Did you promise about the stove part? No, no. I take this very seriously. Mr. Herrera, what's my final, final deadline? I will have the money too by then, I promise. Thank you. Somehow. You are a cook with no way to cook. Tell me how your stove going out is not a problem? I already adjusted the next menu. Fruit and yogurt parfaits, avocado Greek salad, and charcuterie boards. That's brilliant, but not a permanent solution. Like, say, a new stove. But I know mine so well. Yes, that it's unreliable. I'm gonna get the other bags. <laughs> Hey, hi. Calling to see how the moving went? You know it, cuz. Well, I'm happy to report I'm on the last box. The last time we moved, it took me weeks to unpack. Well, nothing like a project manager for a smooth move, especially a freelance one between jobs. I let them know I was available to stay on if they needed more help. They didn't. Well, you'll find something else. So, how's the search going for Ivy's new summer day camp? I got a recommendation for a camp we're checking out tomorrow. Ivy's not excited about the idea, though. You know how shy she can be in new situations. Speaking of Ivy, I had a little housewarming gift delivered to you. It should be at the door. Dare I ask? Why well, ask when you can open? Right. Uh, there must have been a mistake on the delivery. This appears to be some sort of cooking device. Now, my favorite cousin knows me well enough to understand my cooking skills or... Non-existent. <laughs> it's more for Ivy than it is for you. She loves pancakes. She does? She asked for them every day the last time she came to visit. I guess I was lucky to get by with fruit and cereal for breakfast every day the last couple of years. Why do things have to change? Because little girls don't stay little forever. Mine sure didn't. Every day Ivy's more of a mystery to me than even this... Strange alien apparatus. <laughs> it's pancakes, Eli. Try, learn, grow. I just want to make sure I'm raising Ivy the right way. The way you are with your girls. The way my sister would have. You'll figure it out as you go. The same way every parent does. And you know we're always happy to help. You can call any time. Thanks, I will. Bye for now, May. Bye, cuz. Who knew the city had 
had so many walk-ups. But we already got our cardio in for the day. Ooh. What else do you have to do today? Ah, oh, there's a new recipe I want to try, and it's placing the orders for next week. Should have some numbers up there. No, 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 no. I know that you have study group tonight. Off with you. But promise me you'll sleep in at least tomorrow since we open late. I'll be fine. I have a system. A system. I know. I know. Hey, Ivy. You know, I was thinking we could hit that park around the corner and try out the swings. What do you say? Okay. Are you bringing Jolene? I want to bring her. Okay. Hey, you know, maybe we can call your friend Samantha and see if she can meet us at the park to play, too. No, it's okay. I've got Jolene. I'll go put my shoes on. Sorry about the alarm, it won't happen again. Yeah. Hi. Hi. It sounded like you were having trouble with your new stove, so came prepared. <laughs> Meal delivery. Mm -hmm. Does that include breakfast? Best in the city. Or at least this neighborhood anyway. Come with me. Let me just grab Ivy. Okay. Hey, Ivy. What's this, Miss Leah? It is a paper fortune finder. Your smile lights up the room. Mm, that's one smart cookie. What's yours, Uncle Eli? Miss Leah? Oh. Well, listen with your heart and think on your feet. And if you get them mixed up, you can still keep an ear to the ground. Uh-huh. <laughs> a bud is not a rose. I'm not sure I ever aspired to be a flower. Oh, every dogwood has its day. Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> but why paper fortune cookies, Miss Leah? Well, I always like to include a little extra into my meals. It's not always fortunes. It's just something to bring people together or make them think or just brighten their day. Mm, that's brilliant. Though I'm sure this sandwich was enough to brighten my day all by itself. How soon can we start your service? Oh, um... Well, I'm actually not accepting any more clients right now. Um, just for right now, I'm upgrading my staffing systems prior to an asset overhaul and capital expansion. Oh, what's your current strategy for maintaining synergy between management, accounting, labor, and sales? I'm a project manager. Business systems are my expertise. <laughs> uh... My strategy is um, by um, keeping it all me. You do all that yourself? Mm-hmm. No wonder you're turning down clients. You're critically understaffed. You need help, badly. I, I don't need help. I have a system. That's what every business owner thinks, but it's my job to show them the right way. Who crowned you the king of the know-it-alls? I know you can't take on new clients. What else is there? Uncle Eli, 
Are we still going to look at the new day camp oh. today? Yeah, Ivy, we are. Miss Leah and I just got a little distracted with our... It's spirited um... discussion. Do we have to... Uh, you know what? Day camp can be a lot of fun. I loved it when I was your age. And we're just checking it out, Ivy, to see if you like it. Actually, we should leave soon. So thank you for breakfast. Otherwise, Ivy and I would have been eating our breakfast blackened. You're welcome. It was nice to see you again, Ivy and Jolene. <laughs> Just Eli. Come. But, uh, I thought Samantha was your best friend. I've had Jolene forever. This place is the best. Can I spend all summer here? You like it that much? You weren't so sure before. I love it. Well, then this is where you'll spend the summer. Okay. <laughs> as soon as I find the price tag. <coughs> <coughs> I know the coffee's not great, but I didn't think it was that awful. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, not great. I mean, you'd think a place this expensive would have better food. Someone should say something to the camp director. You just did. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I feel... As bad as that coffee? <laughs> no, you're not wrong. Our food vendor just quit. And with camp starting on Monday, I haven't had time to find another. That sounds like a task you could outsource to a project manager, like me. Is that something a project manager does? Spotting talent and dedication is a big part of managing projects. I have someone in mind already. Here is my resume. I'll even sweeten the deal by letting you pay my finder's fee and my niece's camp tuition. Will you now? As long as the vendor you find us lasts the season. If they quit before the end of the summer, you'll have to pay your niece's fees out of pocket. Deal. Ivy seems to really be enjoying herself. Why doesn't she stay for a couple of hours today? Oh, well, actually, I do have some running around to do. That sounds great. Thanks. Strategy for synergy. <laughs> Show me the right way, will you? <laughs> My way works just fine. Thank you very much. Wrench. Don't you think he has a point, though? You do need more help. Nope. See? Okay, sure, yeah, maybe one day. But right now, I can just work on my meal breaks. Something tells me you already do that. What does it say to your customers that you don't take time to enjoy your own food? Okay, well, why don't you tell me the right way to get more done? Scalability. So your idea is to have me hire you to get hired to deliver meals to Camp Fernway. Exactly. I get paid when and only if you get the contract. Camp Fernway gets a reliable food vendor with healthy, delicious food, and you can expand your business with the box lunches you already provide. Uh, I just don't know. I thought you might say that. Try this. Oh, ew. Oh, what is this? That is what you would doom a bunch of sweet, innocent children to if you don't get this contract. Well, that is a sneaky tactic. Did it work? Do you think that they would be willing to give an advance up front? So you can hire more help? Uh, among other things. Um, how many meals are we talking about? Uh, let's see. Uh, here it is, Camp Fernway Session 1 enrollment. About 50 kids, plus a lot of apple slices. Getting you in advance should be no problem. So you'll try for it? You're actually taking someone's advice and applying for that camp job? And you don't think I should do it? Yes, you definitely should do it. It's a fantastic opportunity. 
But, I mean, I saw you and that Eli guy together for like two seconds, and the words that came to mind were oil and water. Can you really work with him? He'll just be helping me with the written application part. How long could that be? I get it. You get started on the application. Thank you. Welcome to the Loving Spoonful, where we put the laugh in rice pea laugh. Hi, Mrs. Lee. Hello, dear. Is my weekly order ready yet? Already. You know, we do deliver, too, if you'd prefer. Oh, thank you. But it makes a nice addition to our walkies. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what surprises Leah added this week. Well, she's always on the lookout for something new. Finding Leah was such a piece of luck. I was hoping to be able to tell her myself how much I appreciate her. She's in the back. I can get her. Ah, the application is 76 pages? Oh, I can get her the message. Thank you, dear. Seventy six pages. The application is seventy six pages. This will take forever. I don't have time for this. Well, that's okay. I can fill most of it out based on your business records. Please don't tell me you keep all your business records stored in a giant shoebox. Of course not. One of those big crates bananas come in with the open sides for papers to fall out. It is all on here. <laughs> Good. For a moment there, I was scared this was going to be a real mess. OK. So and what question should I answer first? OK, this should be an easy one. Who are your major suppliers? I don't know. All those apple slices mean I'm going to have to find some new ones. Well, we can put down one of the wholesalers. You'll have to go through them anyway. That's what all the big companies like Ridgeway Foods do. Oh, no, I need to know who I'm really working with. No. The application is due right away. I know, but can't you offer some solutions and not just problems? I offered you a solution, and you just sat Uncle there. Oh, Eli, I heard you guys having um, a spirited discussion. I am sorry. I didn't realize we woke you. Me too. We didn't mean to be so spirited. Come on, I'll, I'll tuck you back in. And Leah, I'll try to think of some solutions. Me too. Say goodnight. Good night. Good night. OK. Solutions. Solutions. Who's my ideal supplier? Eli, I think. What is it? I know where we can find my suppliers. And all of them in one place. <laughs> Genius. OK, the right strategy now is to create a grid, visiting each stall in turn, make a Black list of pros and cons. Uh, no, I was going to say, <laughs> wow. But we really need to focus and. Ooh, honey. Yeah. I love this stuff. Okay, put that down on the list. Feel it. And you want to do it on either side. Then you just go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Last one. Sure you don't want it? Ooh, I forgot you're going to twist my arm. This was a great idea and super cool of May to invite Ivy to the movies. It's been really tricky for me to find new ways to keep Ivy entertained. So, how will you ever remember what you got from which vendor? I even made notes of who I want to try for what. Maybe you should let me. I'll start a supplier database for you. Cards are fine for me. Yeah, but when you have a team, you'll need an organized system for whoever does the ordering and invoices and taxes. OK, OK. But if someone else is doing the ordering and the invoicing and the taxes, then what am I supposed to do? All the stuff only you can do. Creating new recipes, dreaming up new extras, getting to know your clients. That's all the fun stuff. <laughs> this is supposed to be work. Who told you work couldn't be fun? <laughs> you know, no one ever did. And speaking of the fun stuff, have you decided what the extras will be for the kids? It needs to be something appropriate for the kids, also special, most importantly. Scalable. I'm going to have to think of something soon, because 
The application is due right away. Yeah. Quantify and optimize gross and operating margins with narrative projective differentials over the next financial interval. Okay. Only word I understood there was gross, and I doubt they think what I mean. <laughs> I mean, no wonder they're having trouble finding vendors. Maybe you can project manage and over all of their vendor application next. <laughs> Maybe. What they're asking is... Hey! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in class. It got moved. To this afternoon. Oh, we're supposed to do deliveries this afternoon. It's a two-person job. Meal prep in the late morning, deliveries in the afternoon. That's the way we always do it. I have a, a system. system. We, we know. know. Can you switch the deliveries and the meal prep around? No. The coconut rice pudding and the pumpkin quinoa will we'll need time to set. Oh, so sorry, Leah. Maybe I can miss this one class. No, I don't want you to miss out because of me. Actually, this could be really good. Good. I mean, this is where having the right system can come in handy. Faye, could you handle the meal prep if the recipes were written down somewhere other than inside Leah's head? Sure. Seen her do it enough times? Great, which means Leah and I can handle the deliveries this morning. <laughs> it's not that I don't think you can do it, Faye. It's just that I've never done it this way before, and... She'll I... be able to call you with any questions, and I'll be able to see more of how your business works. And if it's OK with them, we can even take pictures of you with your satisfied customers for the job application. Please, Leah. I hate to leave you in the lurch. OK. I'll go write out the recipes. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm just wondering where you keep your magic wand. It's the only thing I can imagine that would make Leah let go of her iron grip on the kitchen. <laughs> And this one is my favorite. Oh, don't speak too soon. Mr. Ryder, top floor, no elevator. <laughs> Leah, <laughs> I had to check the clock to make sure I hadn't lost track of time. You're early. Oh, we had a slight scheduling snafu. Is that OK? Sure. I was just about to leave for my book club. How about them stairs? <laughs> Quite a workout. Keeps me young. Since I retired, I need all the help I can get. Well, I bet they do if they don't kill you first. <laughs> Mr. Ryder was my high school science teacher. He was the first one to explain emulsification to me. And I've been reaping the benefits in Holland days ever since. <laughs> I miss being around young people to tell you the truth. Uh, Mr. Ryder, would you mind if I got a photo of us? It's for an application to deliver meals for a summer camp. Program. Happy to. I was also Leah's first customer. Oh, well, you were smart to get in while you could. <laughs> Still on the waiting list? Mm. OK, if you could just yeah. squeeze it. Allow me. Oh. I've been working on my selfie skills for that online dating thing. Oh. Come on, young fella. Oh, thanks, but I'm not really. Get in the picture. Uh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, just your hair. What? All right now, say hollandaise. Oh. Hollandaise. hollandaise. <laughs> oh. oh, excuse me, I should take this. Hello? Good to see you finally hired on more help, Leah. Oh, no, he's just helping me with the yes. application. Just help? Like that? About time, if you ask me. No, 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 it's not like that. It's really not like that. If you say so. I better get these in the ice box. OK, sounds good. Thank you, Mr. Ryder. Thank you. Really appreciate everything that you're doing. Thanks, Sorry, Leah. Oh. I forgot to give you back your phone. Oh. Could not resist taking pictures of such a good
good looking couple. Oh, Mr. Ryder. <laughs> If you send me those pictures, I can add them to the application yeah. tonight. Okay, uh, will do. Oh, hey! What's Mr. Ryder's extra with his meals? Oh, can't you guess? Online dating tips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the application is complete. Vendors listed, documents included, pictures of happy customers attached. We're ready to go. Would you like to do the honors? How? Oh. Okay, um, here we go, <laughs> and it's off. Just like I should be, or I'm gonna be late for class. Good luck, Leah. Bye, <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah, I'm just being silly, but I kind of wanted to Big congratulations, or fireworks, or even just a smiling hedgehog meme. <laughs> well, well, maybe they save the memes for when you actually get the job. No, I'm just being silly. It's just even getting the application done is so hard. It's not that you don't think you can do the job, is it? If you don't think you can, you should have said something earlier. No, no, I'll figure it out. I always do. I told you, I'm just being silly. <laughs> OK, uh, talk soon. You know what, Uncle Eli? I think I'm gonna really like camp. They have swimming every day. Well, really? That's that's awesome. And they have crafts and games. Great. And I'll get to see Miss Leah from downstairs for lunch every day, too. You like Miss Leah, huh? She's nice. It's too bad you can't be friends. What makes you think we can't be friends? You're always having spirited discussions. Just because we don't always agree, it doesn't mean we can't be friends. And she doesn't have the job yet. So let's keep her fingers crossed, OK? Does that mean you won't be around as much? It might mean our schedules have to change. Change a little? Maybe even a lot. I just don't know yet, OK? OK. Can I see my hair now? Uh, well, OK. Yeah, I'm sorry. Braiding hair isn't something uncles generally have a lot of experience with. But hey, maybe we can call your friend Samantha or her mom to show us how it's done. She wears braids in her hair all the time, right? It's OK, Uncle Eli. I bet Cousin May can do it for me next time I see her. And Jolene, too, and Uncle Eli. Hi. Hi, so you guys are back here again, too. Oh, yes, I've insisted after she heard about her trip. Oh. And we found a new booth for you. A booth for me? I'll show you where it is. OK. It's this way. OK, let's go. <laughs> is Ivy excited for summer camp? Oh, yes, but her going, it's still a bit up in the air. Oh, how? Oh. I'm just waiting on some final details to work themselves out, I hope. Otherwise, I might have to work and parent full time. Ooh. Well, I'm sure you'll figure it out. You're a great dad. Uh, uncle, uncle? Dunkle? Dunkle it is. <laughs> Here we are. This is what we wanted to show you. Oh, this is perfect. I've been so busy, I've been running low. Thank you, Ivy. Thank you. <laughs> Ah, uh, do you want to help me pick out which ones? Sure. OK. Perfect. This one looks almost like Mrs. Lee's little dog, Henry. <laughs> want to help, too, Uncle Eli? Sure. Yeah, come help. Oh, I just got a call. Hello, this is Leah Thompson of The Loving Spoonful. And hi. I'm so glad you like my application. Yes, I am absolutely available to come in and interview and bring some sample meals when works for you. That would be the day after tomorrow. 
No, I absolutely understand your time crunch. I am happy to do it. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay, I'll see you then. Can't burn my once interview me. Thought they would. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's so much to do. I have to make the sample meals and review the interview questions. I should get back to the store and get started on this right away. Thank you, Ivy. No problem. <laughs> you too. Thank you so much for everything. Hey. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Uncle Eli. Can I get these? Sure, what are they for? It's a surprise. <laughs> okay. Those two, please. That's not really special enough. That's not really kids. There has to be something. I got everything on the list for your sample meals. How is the quest for the extras coming? Not great, actually. <sighs> Maybe this will change your mind. Ivy, Eli, hi. I ran into them on the way in. Go on. I made it for you so we could be at day camp together. Oh, Ivy. Come here, it's so sweet. Thank you. Oh, Ivy, this really is just what I needed. Do you think you could make more of these? Yes, okay. This could be the extras for the summer camp. Cards of encouragement and support. It's certainly special enough <laughs> and kid-friendly. But is it scalable? Yeah, I'm not sure about turning Ivy into a cottage industry. <laughs> no, of course not. It won't be just Ivy. It would be all of the kids making them for each other. It could be part of the craft club. And it goes along with the camp's focus on community. Brilliant. All right, now I just need the meals and interview to match. <laughs> 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 then let's get to work. Yeah, Uncle Eli, let's get to work. <laughs> well, hey, I thought cards were your department. Yeah, but spelling's yours. I'm only nine. She got me. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I thought I saw the light still on in here. Eli, what are you doing here? What about Ivy? Oh, I thought you could use some more help, so I dug out that. I just have the parfaits left. Well, that sounds about right for my cooking skills. Um, Can I help? Sure. I'm surprised you still have that. Ivy's a bit big for a baby monitor. Oh, she was too old for it when I bought it. She was already six when she came to live with me after her mom passed away. Sorry about your sister. Thanks. She was my older sister. <laughs> you no, know, I used to joke that she was such a good mom because she had me to practice on first. <laughs> I was so scared. I was really going to screw everything up. Ivy almost didn't come to live with me. Who else would she go to? My cousin May. She was already raising two great kids with her husband, but you know, they live a couple hours outside the city. And at the time, it seemed like too big a change for Ivy. And she was already more comfortable with me. And now? Now, I am not so sure. I just don't know if I can raise her the right way. She's a great kid, and you're doing a great job. You know, there's not just one right way to do anything. Yeah. But really, you could, it's like these parfaits. You could do yogurt, mango, yogurt, mango, granola, the traditional way. Oh, I bet it wears a little suit and tie to work and everything. <laughs> but then you could do blueberries, yogurt, mango, granola, strawberries. What? That's pure madness. Well, pure deliciousness. <laughs> and then if you're getting really crazy, you could do chocolate chips, mango, granola, strawberries, coconut, puffed rice, and applesauce. Where, where, where does the yogurt go? Oh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not bad. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm, not bad at all. Actually, I think I have one more improvement for this. Oh, no, 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 I don't think that's a good idea. Well, I think it's a very good idea. Okay, nothing else. Nothing. Okay. No. <laughs> mm. 
That is good. Right? Oh, you have a little uh, something here. Where? Just, um... It's right. Oh, is she? Talking in her sleep. I think. I should probably check on her just in case. Will you, um, still be here? Uh, um, I'll be fine. I've, I've just got the parfaits to finish up. So how easy that is. Right. <laughs> There's uh, <laughs> no wrong way to do those. Um, well, uh, good night, Leah. Good night. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow it is. See you tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> good night. Okay. Hey, how are you? Are you ready? Uh, yep. <laughs> okay, just like you practiced. You're gonna do great. And if you need me, I'll be right here. Thank you. Okay, let's do this. Hey. <laughs> Hi, I am Leah Thompson of The Loving Spoonful. We put the keen in zucchini. <clears throat> I started The Loving Spoonful because I wanted to create delicious meals that bring people together and are just bright in their day. Today, we have some charcuterie boxes for you to sample. All of our suppliers are locally sourced. And what's this? That would be my signature feature. I like to include a little extra. For the summer camp, I thought that the kids could make cards like these for each other. These cards are actually made by one of your future campers. It says, have a great day. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> so, how do you think it's going? Well, they seem to be too busy eating to talk, so that's always good. Leah, we're ready for you now. Your sample meals were delicious and camper friendly. And the cards were an inspired idea. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you enjoyed them and the meals. We uh, do have a few questions. We're a nut free camp due to some campers' allergies. Will that be a problem? Our kitchen is already nut free. Excellent. Uh, the only other real concern we have is Camp Fernway would significantly increase the size of your business overnight. What's your strategy for such a sudden and large expansion? My strategy to deal with a large and sudden shift is um, scalability. That's right. That's one of the best things about my company is its scalability-ness. Um, what, what I'm really saying is that I have a system. I have spent a lot of time figuring out what works and what doesn't work. I only need to do more of the same in order to expand. Excellent. I think that answers all our questions. Yes. Leah, we would be happy to offer you the contract for Camp oh. Fernway. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I, I won't let you or the kids down. Can you start today? Uh, 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 Leah would love to start right away. Uh, she just needs a deposit. I do? Oh, uh, yes, I do. Great. We'll see you for lunch. Okay. Bye. <laughs> you did it. You were so great. Uh, you were so great. <laughs> I can't believe that camp starts so soon. Yeah, what a surprise. <laughs> but at least now I can tell Ivy she really will be here every day. Oh. Seeing you at lunchtime. <laughs> great thing for the advance, huh? Oh, yeah, it'll be a lifesaver. Um, well, why don't you stop by the store later and I'll have your payment ready. I'll see you later. What's got Eli so down? What's got you so down? Oh, no, I'm I'm not down. I'm I'm excited. I'm so excited. So unconvincing. Uh. Mr. Herrera, hi. I just wanted to let you know that I just made my payment to my taxes and my account is now up to date, so 
you won't be coming to get my pots and my pens and my stove because I'm really quite fond of them now and I'm just so glad that everything is under control again. Thank you. Ugh. Well, almost everything. Is that a 21 gun salute, or are you just happy to see me? Eli! Hi! Hi! <laughs> what are you doing here? You, uh, told me I could come by for my check, but I can come back later if this is a uh, bad time. Oh, uh, no. It's not as bad as it looks. Is it worse? Oh, uh... Oh, Oh, uh, oven mitts, oven oh, mitts. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I think I'm having deja pastry. Lee, you're not trying to do this all alone, are you? But I just haven't had time to interview other people. I have to say that... Eli, I'm sorry. I, I don't have time for one of your lectures right now. I've got 50 box lunches and three new batches of cookies and a mountain of dishes, and I... Uh, what, what, what are you doing? As your project manager? I should at least make sure you survive your first day. <laughs> you don't have to do that. It's all part of the service. And besides, Ivy is really looking forward to seeing you at lunch today. Start with the cleanup. <laughs> Thank you. Right back. I think this is the last of them. Hey. You should have known. Oh, got those? Geez. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. We got them. Oh, thank you. Okay. Leah, you're right on time. Wonderful. I've got the first batch of cards from the campers. They had so much fun making them. Well, that's so great to hear. <laughs> Eli, I didn't expect to see you here. Oh, I, uh, I thought I'd check to see uh, how Ivy's doing. She's having a wonderful time. Great. Uh, though we do have some concerns with the stuffed animal. By the time kids are old enough to come to camp, they're usually OK leaving their security friends at home. You know, before our move, she only needed Jolene at night, but mm. ever since, she's taken her everywhere. Ivy's a great kid, and Jolene is always welcome here. But you might want to bring it up with Ivy, for Jolene's sake. Camp can be really tough on stuffed animals. You know, all the mud and sports, there's lots of chances for them to get lost. Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll try to speak to her about it. <laughs> Uncle Eli! Hey! What are you doing here? Well, stop by to see how your first day was going. Great. Well, that's awesome. Maybe, uh, Jolene is a little bit tired. Maybe she'd be safer at home. Or you can keep her for the rest of the day. Think about it, okay? Okay. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's something else you can help me out with. Could you point me in the direction of the arts and crafts table? Yeah. The room for one more under this tree? <laughs> There's plenty of trunk for everyone. Mm, even leftovers, too. Woof. <laughs> What's this? It's a smiling hedgehog, of course. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you my, did this? Yeah, my <laughs> glitter pen work could use a little practice. I just figured, well, you always go above and beyond to make other people smile. Mm. I thought it was time someone did a little something extra for you. Oh. I think you've done way more than a little extra. Well, <laughs> what you do is really something special. 
Hello, expertful. Deserve that. Oh. Excuse me. Deserve the help. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Well, don't take this the wrong way, but you seem almost as tired as I feel. <laughs> Just haven't had much sleep. Mm. I guess your worries about Ivy aren't really helping much either. Mm. And look at her, she's happy and healthy. Maybe you can just relax just for a little bit. Maybe a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, just for a moment. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, but oh. I'm sorry. About <laughs> no, no, it's my fault. I, uh, I, I, Ivy, what, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at lunch. Lunch is over, and so is camp. What? <laughs> oh no, I slept her clean up. I, oh, Faye's gonna be furious with me. She's gonna be livid. She's gonna be happy to have handled clean up and went back to the kitchen to finish meal prep. Faye's a good employee and a great friend. She really is. Oh, she also said it's <laughs> obvious that we should have slept to hmm? uh, rest up, rest up together oh. at the same time. Yes. <laughs> Very astute of her. Mm. Well, Ivy, I guess we should be on our way. Can we stop by the swings on the way home? And can Miss Leah come too? Please! <laughs> Okay, sure, we can, but Leah is very busy and she needs to Actually, be... you know what? I'm not. Faye's got it all under control, so a round of swings sounds great. Oh, hey! Yeah. yeah! Now help me out. <laughs> oh, thank you. Please. I walked out into the street and straight out of town Don't have the time To check my direction But I got the time To walk for days To not give them what they want To search for It's own road So I wander through the dead tree yard And keep a burning heart You know what? I can't remember the last time she actually took a nap. <laughs> She's had a long day. Yeah, well, she'll probably just sleep for an hour and then wake up ravenous. Hmm. I'll teach you how to make one of my specialties. That's incredibly generous, but you should rest on your afternoon off. Well, I already did. Besides, it'll be fun, and fun is as good as sleep. So, now what do you make? Ah! If you up your pancake game, I'll be sure to get more sleep. No more smoke alarm wake-up calls. <laughs> uh... <laughs> No one said this is an advanced class. Don't worry, we'll start with the basics and work our way up. And the first step is always... Order delivery? Precautions. I can't tell you how many of my clothes have ended up looking like Jackson Pollock originals. Are you sure you don't need this for your staff? <laughs> this is cooking class, not business of men. You know, I... I think I know what's going on here. You've never had to delegate before. <laughs> yeah, right, delegate. Now's a good time to practice. You tell me what to do, and I'll do it. Okay, just um, let me get the batter together. Hey, is delegate me. another word we have different meanings for? <laughs> Sit. 
<laughs> Come on. It's not gonna kill you. There you go, that wasn't so hard. Now, try, learn, grow. And you'll do the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. Okay. <laughs> Where do we begin? Don't try to let go share. Ooh. Ooh, I bet simple more. Simple more suits your air. Ah, 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 you air. I bet the swap I see. for the camp's second session starting in two weeks. And it's longer. I just sent you a schedule. They probably pick up more kids as the summer goes on. Schools get out at different times and parents sign up kids after vacations. But this is twice as many kids. Twice as many lunches. You'll just have to stop putting it off and hire more help. No, no, I can make this work. I just got caught off today. I forgot about phase even in classes and you know your semester ends soon and with the three of us working together Oh, Leah, you know I'd love to help but I have other work and semester break is only a few weeks before summer session starts I can put you in contact with some employment agencies I can work harder and I, I, Leah, I figure it out and Leah why are you resisting what you know has to happen because um because I can't I, I can't afford to hire more staff. What about the advance from the camp? It went to pay my overdue taxes. I had to do it, otherwise the city would seize my stove and everything else not nailed down. I'm gonna come down there, I'll, I'll call you. Uh, no, I'll just, I'll talk to you in a minute. I finally had everything worked out. Ivy could go to camp and I could work during the day. What, what does this have to do with Ivy? Instead of paying me to find them a vendor, the camp waived Ivy's fees for the summer, but only as long as the vendor I found them actually kept up their end of the deal. Well, why didn't you tell me any of this? It was between me and the camp. It's none of your concern. Why didn't you tell me about the taxes? Why didn't you tell me about the numbers going up? I didn't know. Why didn't you tell me you knew you couldn't hire more staff to begin with? Because it's my business. It's my problem. No, no, no. It's my business and my problem now, too. I can't take care of Ivy all day and do the work I need to support us. And if I can't support us, I can't keep Ivy. Eli, I'm, I'm sorry, I... Yeah, well, if we can't figure out a solution, we're both gonna be sorry. Uh... You should have said something about the taxes sooner. But it's none of his business. It's my taxes, my business, my concern, you know? I didn't mean you should have said something to Eli. I meant you should have said something to me. Oh. Oh, Faye, I'm sorry. I'm not I... just your employee. I'm your friend. You could have said something. I would have helped. I know you would have. I, I don't know why. Then figure it out. Leah, you're about to lose everything here. I can't. The Loving Spoonful means... I'm not just talking about the business. Leah, it's obvious to anyone with eyes that there's something going on between you and Eli. Neither one of you can bring yourself to admit what everybody knows. Well, maybe it's for the best then. Because not admitting the truth is really working for you so far, huh? Hi, you reached May. Leave a message. Hey, May. It's Eli. I've been thinking uh, maybe it would be a good idea if Ivy came to live with you. Permanently, I mean. I can't parent full time with my new gig. And it's not just childcare that's the problem. 
I'm not sure I can give Ivy everything she needs as a little girl growing up. It's not even about what I don't know. It's about what I don't know I don't know. I mean, look, I know it's a big decision, and we'll have to talk it out. Oh! May, may, I'll have to call you back. Mr. Ryder, thank you. I didn't even see him coming. You were pretty deep in that conversation. Yeah. Oh, I'm a pretty good listener if you need to talk about something. Nothing I have to be doing, and we'll know where I have to be, and let me guess, about a woman? Yes. No, no, uh, more of a, a work problem. Was everything okay with Leah? Maybe it could be. Mr. Ryder, I need to make some calls right away, but thank you for the talk. It was a lot of help. Always happy to help. <laughs> oh, and if you have the time, there is one thing you could do to help Leah. Well, name it. Actually, two to three months for a business loan approval doesn't work for me. I'm looking for more in the two to three Day range? I'm so glad I could brighten your day. Yes, I hope your co-workers find it just as funny. Um, welcome to the Loving Spoonful. We put the hala in jalapeno. No. You want me to go? Come on in. Good. Because I have a proposal for you. Oh, well, because the last one worked so well. <laughs> well, I figured we got into this mess together, so we'll have to get out in the same way. Okay. What do you propose? Ridgeway is one of the biggest food service companies in the country. They administer and supply food services for hospitals, airlines, government agencies, and more. Now. A friend from my last job landed in their acquisitions department. They're very interested in the Loving Spoonful. <laughs> what does a big company like Ridgeway care about what I'm doing over here? I told them all about you. Your food, your clients, your extras. They want to partner with you. How so? They want to expand the Loving Spoonful. So from spoonful to ladleful. You'll develop the recipes and meals, which Ridgeway will produce and ship anywhere in the country, all with your charming extras. And what does Ridgeway want for all of this partnership? Well, it is supposed to be a partnership. What do they want? A share in the company, a significant one, and an agreement you'll only use their products. Like this. This is what you want me serving the kids, Eli? Ridgeway has lots of trained nutritionists on staff, and you can make sure the lunches are balanced and healthy. I can't believe you would even suggest this. You could go nationwide. No, I can't. I can't do that and do what I do. Eli, you have to meet people where they are to understand what they really need. Otherwise, all the extras and whatever is just junk. I'm trying to save your business. By what, destroying it? This isn't about me. This is about you. You don't care about me or my business. All you care about is Ivy getting to camp. Leah, no matter what happens with the Loving Spoonful, Ivy is most likely not going to stay at camp. Why? Eli, what's going on? I'm... I'm pretty sure it would be best if she went to live with me. Eli, why would you even think that? that? That little girl loves you. I love her too, but that's not the issue. May can give her what she needs better than I can. Well, have you talked to Ivy about this? You don't let a nine-year-old make decisions about things like this. Well, you can talk to her and you can find out what she needs instead of just what you imagine is important. I'm can... sorry if I offended you. I really am. But I was trying to help in the only way I could think of. Everybody I ever worked with got to the point where they had to let go to grow or even survive as a business. Everybody. 
but you're so scared. You'd rather run this place into the ground than give up any control. And that's too bad, because this place, it really is something special, Leah. Eli, I... it a little close today, huh? Yes, we are right on time. We are running like a precision machine, just like that. Anyway, you get the idea. It's gotten some hummus on there or something. Very great. Just uh, not any more precise, if you please. You do not want to see these kids when they're really hungry. <laughs> just precise enough, not too precise. You know I can't take Eli's deal. It's just... Hey, honey. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Oh, <laughs> sorry. What are you doing, Uncle Eli? Uh, well, uh, Leah said, uh, I, uh... <laughs> should meet you where you are, so here I am. Ivy, do you want to tell me what happened with you and your friend Samantha? Samantha and me got into a spirited discussion. Mm-hmm, I see. She got mad at me that we're moving out of the building and said we'd never see each other again. Then she said she'd have to get a new best friend. And then I got really mad and said I didn't even want her as a friend at all. And then what happened? We moved away and I never saw her again. No, I just got off the phone with Samantha's mom and Sam is gonna go to Camp Friendway for the next session too. Would you like to be friends again? Maybe, but I don't know how. I bet if you started something, the two of you could figure it out together. Maybe if I made her work hard like we do at camp. Thanks, Uncle Eli, you're the best! <laughs> you know, I, I should have realized something was wrong between you two girls sooner. It's okay. Well, actually, Ivy, I don't think it is. What would you think about going to Cousin May's? Like, for another visit? No, I mean, to live there. Why would I do that? Well, you'd live in a house with a big yard, and Cousin May's girls could be like your sisters. I guess. And, and Cousin May knows about lots of stuff I don't. Like braiding hair, what to do when you might be having a fight with a friend. But we can figure that stuff out too. We're smart cookies. <laughs> we are. But also, Ivy, there's my schedule. I might have to work more hours or sometimes even travel. Uncle Eli. Are you trying to get rid of me? Oh, Ivy, no. Good, because I belong with you. Um, welcome to the Loving Spoonful. We put the, um, in the... Ah, oh, sorry, I'm fresh out of puns today. No, uh, a fond and fondue. <laughs> that is a good one, but, um... What are you doing here, Mr. Ryder? I usually deliver to you. That's what I'm here about. I ran into that young man of yours. And... Oh, he's a nut. And he mentioned that, well, maybe you're having the teeniest bit of trouble with staffing, and that if I had the time, well, maybe I could pick up my meals and certainly have the... He mentioned that, did he? Did he also tell you about the trouble with my taxes and the trouble with my camp contract and the trouble with keeping my business from being completely and totally ruined? Um, no, didn't mention any of that. Mm. 
but maybe you should tell me about it yourself. <sighs> That's when Eli told me that the Loving Spoonful is really special. And then he walked out, and I haven't heard from him since. I can't say I know much about being in business. Here's what I do know. I was married to the same amazing lady for 40 wonderful years. I didn't know that. That's awesome. And the only time we ever got in real trouble was when one of us needed to, well, needed to grow in some way. One of us wanted to hold back. I resisted going back for my advanced teacher credits like the stubbornest mule you ever met. Because I meet so many of those. It made Laura Jane so mad. I half expected to come home some night and find the locks changed. Well, mules are notoriously bad lock pickers. Hoobs, you know. <laughs> but once I finally got over myself and did what I knew I needed to, Laura Jane was there, backing me up 1,000%. Wow. It's a really beautiful story, Mr. Ryder. And completely besides the point, I'm not in a relationship with Eli or business. Well, if not one, maybe the other. At least figuring it out will keep you busy. I don't mind saying, I, I envy you that. I thought you were excited about going into retirement. I was. I thought I'd have time to look around me and maybe meet someone new. But it turns out you can't keep dating all the time. Makes you look like a player. <laughs> you are too much of a gentleman to ever look like a player. True that. <laughs> but all play and no work makes Jack a dull boy. You know, I think that what you said about business and relationships is true. For us. Don't go falling for my charms, Miss. <laughs> You're too young for me. If not one, then maybe the other. And maybe some of your friends from the book club, too. you came up with I've had a lot of help <laughs> I know but now you can honor the contract with the camp you can keep all of our old clients and finally take on some new ones let's make sure we can walk before we run I made a lot of changes and probably a few more to come and oh I still have to figure out how to what nothing this uh, teddy bear walking by with the lady and a suitcase. A suitcase? Oh, no, he didn't. What are you? Ivy? Leah? Eli, you don't have to do this. I'm going to keep the summer camp contract, I promise. You don't have to send Ivy away to live with your cousin. <laughs> it's okay. Ivy's just gone to visit May and her family for the weekend. Oh! Oh, she is. I'm so glad. Well, since I have a free weekend, maybe we could get together and find a way to solve your staffing problem oh. for the camp for the sake of your business. Of course. And, and for Ivy, I see how much she loves being at summer camp. That too. Eli, I, uh... Morning deliveries went great. Heading out with the second load. See you later, partner. <laughs> That's what I was trying to tell you. I solved my staffing problem. 
Oh, th that's great. That's really great. Hey, I know I was way off base with Ridgeway. Even when I was telling you about it, I knew it was all wrong. But a partnership was the only solution I could come up with. Eli, you were right. Partnership was the solution. OK, maybe not with Ridgeway Foods, but it worked. I sold small shares of my company to Mr. Ryder and a couple of his friends from the Retired Teachers Book Club in exchange for part-time work. They love the opportunity to get out and interact with kids again. And they can get a share of the profits at the end of the season. And you're OK with selling off shares of the company? More than letting down the kids and shutting down the business for good. Well, it seems like you've got everything under control. I have to thank you for the idea. I never would have thought of it. And for telling Mr. Ryder to come by and pick up his deliveries. Uh, and I have to thank you, too. What you said about meeting Ivy where she was, it helped a lot. Oh, good. I'm glad. Well, I now seem to have a free weekend with nothing to do. So I guess I better um, go find something. <laughs> oh, OK. 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 Bye. Bye. Uh, enjoy your something. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> This is what the inside of your mind looks like. <laughs> Seems like a pretty nice place to be. To start. Well, I feel like I'm missing something. How can you know if you can't remember it? I don't know. It just, just doesn't feel quite right. <laughs> Can we see? Sure. <laughs> Eli, I wanted to thank you again for connecting us with Leah and the lovely oh. spoonful. We never had a better food vendor. Oh, well, I can't take the credit for any of that, but I'm happy it worked out so well. Mm. Here's your phone back on for Eli. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey, you forgot Jolene. I really like the photos of you and Miss Leah. <laughs> I was wondering how you found Leah. Oh, that's not. spent two weeks rearranging push pins and paper clips. You could save yourself a century and consult an expert on business systems and procedures. Yeah, our budget's still pretty tight. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's not an excuse anymore. We've already solved that problem. So, what's the real problem? How to start with Eli? Of course, with Eli. <laughs> I know. 
I just wanted to make you finally say his name again. If you don't know how to start with Eli, just ask yourself what advice he would give you about that. Try, learn, grow. Left to the middle, right to the middle. This is the way our braid grows a little. So, uh, where's Jolene? I think she's in my bedroom. Oh my goodness. What do you think? High five? Nice. Can we eat pancakes for dinner? Have I created a pancake monster? Grr. Oh. <laughs> Guess I better feed you then. Did you and Miss Leah get into another spirited discussion? Well, something like that. You should try to be friends again. That's what you told me to do. I know. I'm just not sure Leah wants to be friends with me again. You should try to figure that out. Uh-huh. But you don't know how to. You should take her advice. I mean, it worked for me. Just what advice would that be? Go meet her where she is and find out what she wants. You really are a smart cookie. I know. <laughs> smart enough to stay out of trouble for a few minutes while I go talk to Miss Leah? Uncle Eli, I'm not a baby. I'm nine years old. That's what I thought. I'll be right back as soon as I uh, give this to you. Eli. Hi. Hi. Is, uh, is, is now a good time? If you're uh, no, rushing no, out, no. I can... No, now's a great time. Great. Well, I just wanted to... I, I actually... Can I say my piece first? Yes. Yeah, of course. Please, go on. <laughs> Thank you. My instinct here is to say you're welcome, but <laughs> I'm not sure what for. For pushing me to grow. Now I want to grow more and only better this time and plan, which is this. <laughs> Mix greens and quinoa with salmon and lime vinaigrette. Your plan for growing is salad. No, it's the extras. See? It's a share in my company in exchange for your project management expertise. So that would make it our system. Yes. Are you just offering me a share of your business or a share of your heart as well? Because if you're offering me a share of your heart too, it's the perfect start to our way. You already have a share of mine. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Eli, Miss Leah? What took you guys so long? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs>